What's happening guys and welcome back to our channel. 90 Day Fiancé is a well-known dating show. There have especially been some high-profile couples on the show's fifth season. A lot of these couples have become fan favorites and people have been anticipating them. So let's find out about 90 Day Fiancé Season 5, Where Are the Cast Now? Number 6, Elizabeth and Andre. The amazing couple is thankfully still together and going strong. After meeting Andre in Dublin where he worked, the two decided to make plans to marry. They even welcomed their first child, a daughter named Eleanor, to their home and their beautiful lives in January 2019. Unfortunately, they still suffer from one of the usual family drama, but Elizabeth and Andre made up for that. The Moldovan native didn't start on the right foot with the Florida native family, which led to tons of tension, especially between Andre and Elizabeth's father, Chuck Potest. When they started dating, and Elizabeth Potest brought her Moldovan fiancé, Andre Kastrovis, to the United States, her family wasn't quite a fan of his behavior and didn't care for his alpha male attitude and his sense of entitlement. Since then, Libby and Andre have become one of the viewers' least favorite couples, though they don't seem to care. The couple has become regulars on several franchise spin-offs now that they've welcomed the newest member of their family. Number 5. Evelyn and David This beautiful couple is not together anymore, even though they faced split rumors in February 2021 after the fans noticed Evelyn hasn't been posting photos of her husband or even wearing her wedding ring that often. Evelyn briefly addressed the rumors via Instagram and confirmed to all the audience that they're still married and going strong. David is a very private person and I just want to try and respect that. She explained the reason for not sharing their relationship online. My page is mostly for my music. Hailing from New Hampshire, Evelyn met David from Spain when he messaged her on Facebook and that's when everything got started. Evelyn Cormier was only 18 years old when she married her 27-year-old fiancé, David Vasquez Zermeno. Many viewers didn't expect this couple to last. However, fans were not surprised to find out that they aren't together anymore. After Season 5, Evelyn and David moved to live their married life in Los Angeles in 2019 so Evelyn could continue to pursue her music career. Even though everyone expected their relationship to not last long, Fans are still heartbroken to find out that they're no longer together. Evelyn and David had minimal drama in their relationship despite their disagreements about where they would like to settle down in the United States because the Spanish native was not content with living in Evelyn's hometown of Claremont, New Hampshire. Number 4. Molly and Lewis Sadly, this is another couple that isn't together anymore. Molly filed for divorce from Lewis in January 2018 after only six months of their marriage. The divorce was finalized in May and in September of 2021, Lewis remarried, but as for Molly, she's been dating but has not been in a serious relationship since the divorce from Lewis. Molly seems to be in a healthy relationship with her cop boyfriend Kelly and it looks like she's happy. Molly and Lewis shared their love journey after the Georgian native met Lewis during a vacation in the Dominican Republic. Their storyline included a shocking twist when the producers learned that Molly and Lewis were married for the majority of their 90-day process. Molly met Lewis in the Dominican Republic while on holiday. The age gap between them proved to be controversial. Fans have always doubted Molly Hopkins and Lewis Mendez's relationship. They always suspected Lewis of only wanting to marry Molly for the reason of getting a green card. Though the couple had a secret marriage in between the show, the couple has now been divorced and has moved on with their lives. Number 3. David and Annie Annie and David brought major trauma because of the tension between David and his daughter Ashley and his friends married couple Chris Thienman and Nikki Cooper. Ashley didn't approve of her father's relationship with Annie, who is four years younger than Ashley. Nikki was upset because Chris was helping David financially as he tried to get back on his feet in Louisville, Kentucky after he returned to the United States from Thailand where he met Annie. This led to a few fights between the couple and David. This couple is also one of the lucky ones who got their happy endings. They're still together and are truly living happily ever after. David landed a job as a college professor in April of 2019, which helped them overcome their financial issues. 
the couple relocated to Phoenix, Arizona in July of 2019. As explained in detail before, there was a lot of drama in David Toborowski and Annie Suwan's relationship, and David's finances were a constant source of frustration for their relationship. But even with all these issues, they managed to push through and work their way in solving their problems and eventually got married. David and Annie have become the fan favorite and are regulars on many spin-offs. Their popularity has also helped ease their financial woes. David and Annie have made over $185,000 on Cameo selling personalized video messages to the fans. Number 2. Josh and Aika Another couple that's still happily married and living together. They enjoy traveling together and also documenting their trips via social media. Season 5 had some heavy hitters in the cast and a lot of drama. Some of the most memorable 90 Day Fiancé couples saw their start on Season 5 and many fans think it was one of the best seasons in the franchise. It's been over 4 years since Season 5 debuted and a lot has changed in the life of the featured couples. Josh and Ika's obstacle was that his friends and family thought that the Quezon City Philippines native was using the Arizona native for a green card. Josh's past, which included a criminal record that included domestic violence charges, which were eventually dropped, and two previously failed marriages, was also an issue as well as the secret that he kept from Ika. Josh previously underwent a vasectomy before he met her, which would hinder her dreams of having children with him. Josh met Ika from the Philippines online, and Ika struggled with skepticism from his friends. The pair are still married, but don't appear to have any children as Ika wanted. When Josh brought Ika to the United States, the couple shared their fair share of issues. As a 36-year-old woman, Ika was ready and quite eager to have a baby, but 43-year-old Josh has already had a vasectomy. The couple was married, and though they still haven't started a family, they still look very happy together. Number 1. Nicole and Azan the couple is still going strong, even though they both faced more issues in the years following their appearance in Season 5. In 2018, they learned that Azan's K-1 visa was denied. The next plan was for Nicole to marry Azan in Morocco, then apply for a spousal visa so he could legally return to the United States with her. After postponing their wedding twice, they never made it down the aisle. But the couple is still engaged as of June 2020. Nicole is currently in Morocco with Azan, where they are self-quarantining together amid the coronavirus pandemic. Nicole and Azan continued their love story after they got engaged during their trip to Morocco to meet Azan in person for the first time. At the end of Season 4, she learned she would have an issue with applying for Azan's K-1 visa because she didn't meet the minimum income required to sponsor a foreigner under the rules of the visa. But eventually, the Florida native was able to talk her parents into sponsoring Azan's visa and they moved forward with their plans. At the end of Season 5, Azan and Nicole had a date set for Azan's interview, which is the last step in the visa process. Nicole told her mom, Robbly Nafziger, that if Azan's K-1 visa was denied, their plan B was for Nicole to move to Morocco permanently with her daughter, May, from a previous relationship. The couples of 90 Day Fiancé Season 5 saw their fair share of ups and downs, but many of them are in a good place even four years after they first appeared on the franchise. Though fans have had complaints about the current show, many consider Season 5 to be one of the best in the series, and the memorable couples and compelling drama make it easy to see why. So do let us know your favorite couples from Season 5 of 90 Day Fiancé, and I'll catch you guys later in another video. Bye now!